going to put a design onto a t-shirt. I'm going to show you how I line it up. Uh, and we're going to start with getting our center lines. And so this is a 2x shirt that we're going to do. And we want to find the center of the shirt so we kind of know where to put it. And by having straight lines, we can keep our design straight. So I'm going to start by laying it out flat and I'm grabbing the seam underneath the arms. I'm going to take the shirt and fold it in half and then I'm going to put it in my press. And it's still heating up a little bit, but it's hot enough to press it. So I'm going to put it in the press. Press it down just a little bit. I need to increase my pressure. And so that gives us our horizontal line. And then I want to take the shirt at the center and fold it in half. So we want to line everything up right down the middle vertically. I'm going to put it in my press. Turn it up too far. And this also gives the benefit of doing the pre-press that you want to do before applying your heat transfer vinyl. And so now I have a cross right there in the middle of the shirt. So here's our cross. And this is a design that we have nested so that we didn't waste any of our heat transfer vinyl. And so I'm just going to cut it apart. This is the one with the packing tape on it from my earlier video. And what you want to do is you want to take your design and fold it in half and then just kind of crease your heat transfer vinyl. It doesn't matter if you crease the actual vinyl, but I try to get just the carrier sheet. And then do the same here. Line it up. With the end of that T and the L to be lined up. Again, I'm going to crease. So that gives us the center point for our words. And then I'm going to use my handy dandy Olipfa lip edge ruler that I'm always talking about and I'll post a link and I'm going to line it up with the center of the collar. And I want to start about three inches down from the top because this is a 2x and lining it up on that center line. line this up and I can line this up and if I was doing a big long um, design or a very long design that center line is where I would want the center of my design to be but this is just a shorter one so we're going to line it up kind of towards the top half of the shirt and so three inches get it spaced about right and then I'm going to use this straight line we did here, and I can line my, my ruler up, and then, can you get in close here? You can kind of see these lines that are on the ruler, and what I want to do is make sure that each letter lines up on the same line. So what that's going to do is make sure that that shirt is straight, and then we have our center line, even with that crease we made this way. Our decal is lined up on that line and then I want to move it up here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the line and I'm going to line it up with the top of that skinny like so and then I just want to make sure that tall is going to be lined up as well so that we're in the right spot and then we have our design centered. I don't want it to move anywhere. So I'm just going to grab a few pieces of my handy dandy heat tape. Just to make sure that we're not going anywhere. 
carry it back to the press. And then what I want to do is just, because this is um, Caesar Easy Weed, we just want to tack it for a few seconds. Still too much. Just for a couple seconds. And then we will go in and remove our carrier sheets. Go slow just in case something didn't stick. And again, this uh, carrier sheet had that packing tape on it because I cut too deep and I didn't want the letters to come apart, but it pressed just fine. So then we are going to press again. Finish off our 15 seconds. And that's it. And so now we have our centered aligned shirt easy peasy lemon squeezy okay so again this is a 2x shirt and i want to show you how i fit it in the bag because it is a little large for one of these bags so i've i kind of rolled it and made sure that i got everything off of it and then what i'm going to do is instead of putting it in um, vertically we're going to put it in horizontally so i want to fold the shirt so that the design is facing out, of course, and you want to make sure that it's about as wide as your bag. Again, these are the cello bags that I get from Amazon, and I'll post a link. And I usually kind of taper it towards the bottom just so it folds better. So we're going to get to our design. There it is. Again, and you can fold it in if you would prefer. Try to get it straight. Make sure it's going to fit in the bag. I actually did it a little too small. And then I'm going to slide it into the bag. Make sure it fits. And I folded it a little too far on that side than this side, so you could take that out and fix it, whatever you need to do to get it lined up. But that is how I fit a 2x. It also works for 3x. I had some 3x I did the other day, um, putting them in horizontally instead of vertically. I hope that helps.